Seeing VR, a set of tools to make virtual reality more accessible to people with low vision. Current VR technology is vision dominant, and most VR scenes are designed by only considering the visual abilities of fully sighted users. 217 million people worldwide have low vision, moderate to severe visual impairments that fall short of complete blindness, but that cannot be corrected fully by glasses. Virtual reality is often not accessible for people with low vision. We designed Seeing VR, a set of 14 low vision tools that can be applied to a VR application as an overlay in runtime and enhance its scenes by providing both visual and audio augmentations. With Seeing VR, a user can select, adjust, and combine different tools to augment the VR scenes according to their preferences. We implemented nine of these tools as an extension that plugs into available VR applications without requiring any changes from the producer or developer. We also implemented five additional tools for VR developers to integrate low vision support into the design process of their applications. We begin by demonstrating the tools for existing apps and then show the tools for empowering developers. Our magnification lens simulates the effect of a magnifier attached to the center of the user's visual field to help users see details or things that are far away. Users can adjust the magnification level based on their needs. To reduce the dramatic change that a magnifier brings, we designed a bifocal lens by adding a small rectangular shaped magnifier at the bottom of the user's visual field. While looking at the magnifier part to see details, the user can still see the original virtual scene by looking through other areas of their visual field. The user can adjust the position of the bifocal lens. Since people with low vision have different light sensitivities, we provide a brightness lens, allowing the user to adjust the brightness of the scene. For people with low contrast sensitivity, we provide a contrast lens to help increase the contrast of VR scenes. This is edge enhancement. We add edges to the whole virtual scene based on the depth and surface normal change. With this tool, a user with low vision can better distinguish different objects in a low contrast scene. Users can adjust the color of the edges based on the color of the original scene and their preference. Peripheral remapping is designed for people with peripheral vision loss. We overlay the contours of a minified view of a wide field over the center of the user's original vision, providing information that was formerly in their peripheral vision. The user can adjust the color and position of the overlay based on their needs. When text in a virtual scene has low contrast with the background, our text augmentation tool automatically changes the text color to be the inverted color of the background. The user can also decide whether to make the text bold and how much to increase the font size. When visual augmentation is not sufficient, our text-to-speech tool provides audio augmentation. With this tool, the user can use a laser attached to the controller to point to a piece of text in the scene, and our tool can automatically read it aloud. Introduction. You are stuck in the Gravender common room and you will have five minutes to solve your puzzles and leave. The next tool is depth measurement. Many people with low vision have difficulty with depth perception, which can make it hard for them to pick up a virtual object in a VR scene. Our depth tool attaches a laser to the controller. When the laser hits an object, a ball will appear at the intersection point. The user can have a sense of distance by looking at the length of the laser between the ball and the controller. The color of this tool is adjustable to account for the background color and the user's preference. The nine tools we just described can all be applied post hoc to a VR application in runtime. We also designed some additional tools that can further enhance a VR application by leveraging developer input. Our object description tool is similar to the way alt text Table. works with a screen reader on a 2D Book. display. If a developer adds descriptions Pillow. to objects in the VR scene, our tool can read aloud the description if a user points to a Candle. labeled object. If the developer can label the important objects in a VR scene, our highlight tool can add contours around these objects to attract the user's attention. We designed the guideline tool to orient the user's attention by using a line to connect the center of an important object as designated by the developer and the center of the user's field of view. If the object is out of the user's visual field, the user can follow the line to locate the object. If a developer can label the hierarchy of the objects in the scene, our recoloring tool can recolor the whole scene, making sure that every two objects close to each other in the user's visual field are painted in different colors. This tool segments close objects from each other and also simplifies the whole scene by replacing complex textures. 
We also consider how assistive smartphone apps might be translated from the real world to the virtual world to further augment a user's experience. We demonstrated the feasibility of this concept by mimicking the popular assistive apps Seeing AI and VizWiz as Seeing VR tools. When a user triggers the Seeing AI tool, we mimic the functionality of this computer vision application Recognizing by using the Microsoft Cognitive Services API to recognize objects in a screen capture of the current virtual scene and announce them aloud to the user. Recognizing. The image may include a close-up of a light. When a user triggers the VizWiz tool, they speak aloud a question they have about the current virtual scene. What is in the image? Sending to human service. And a screen capture of the current scene plus the recorded question is sent to a human being who composes an answer and sends it back to our system, which then reads the response aloud. A book and a pillow on the table. To allow developers to provide input that can enhance the performance of the Seeing VR tools, we designed a Unity toolkit that provides access to all the low vision tools, as well as extending the game object in Unity by adding three accessibility fields. The fields are description, used to describe an object, is salient, that labels whether the object is important, and is whole object, that provides semantic information on the object hierarchy of a scene, indicating whether the current level and its children belong to a single object. We evaluated the design of Seeing VR with 11 participants with low vision in three virtual tasks, including navigating a menu, searching for an object, and shooting a moving target. All participants completed the tasks more quickly and accurately using our tools. We also evaluated the usability of the Unity Toolkit with six Unity developers, and all the developers believed our toolkit was easy and convenient to use. We tested our low vision tools on the top 10 most popular Unity VR applications and found that our tools can successfully modify all the applications post hoc. Solo. Party. Our low vision VR tools represent an important step in considering how to make virtual reality accessible to a wider audience.